Um, we're going to be talking about cup stacking. So, what? when did you guys first get interested in cup stacking? Um, um it, I was in, I was going into fifth grade, it was in August of 2009, I think, was when I first started. And I started doing cup stacking. Um, I found, I went to my friend's birthday party, and they had cups there, and my friend showed me how to do it, and then I started. And then Carter taught me how to do it. How long have you been doing it? Um, it's been like four and a half years now, I guess. Uh, I think I started maybe when I was six. Um, like... Where are the competitions? Um, there's competitions all over the world, but I mean, I just go to the ones that are close to where we live, so we don't have to go that far unless it's a really big one, like the World Championships. Then we'll go a bit further. Tell me about Cup Stacking. Your shirt. My shirt? Um, it's the shirt that you get um, for Team USA. We all get two of them, one red and one blue. and. Um, that's just what... What's Team USA? So uh, Team USA is the team that the fastest stackers in the United States are on. All countries have, well not all countries, but a lot of countries have national teams and out of all the teams, Team USA is really the best one. So um, it's just all the fastest stackers from the U.S. How did you get involved in that? Um, well, I just I was competing in tournaments, and um, I got I started to get pretty fast times. So then I got a, f a phone call, and they asked me to be on the team. How many cups do you have? Um, I probably have like fifteen or twenty different sets of cups. So. Is it age level competition, or is uh, it yeah. just like based on time? Um, what's the, what's your best time? Um, um, 333, where is the 663? Um, maybe about 3 seconds. Uh, for 363, my best time is 2.19 seconds. Um, so, in, in the competitions, like, how many people are there? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, um, if it's a, if it's a really big competition, then there's a, then there will have, they'll have a lot of people there, so sometimes it can be like a few hundred people competing. Um, but if it's just a regular tournament, it's probably closer to like a hundred maybe, which is still a lot to compete against, but. Tell us about the, the competition. Um, well, for the competition, um, first they have this thing called preliminaries, and that's where everybody, um, they all do all the stacks that they signed up for. And then if, you, if you're, all, you're competing against other kids your age, and then um, if you're fast enough, you, you get into the finals, and that's like the top five kids from each age group, or top ten if it's a really big tournament. And the, and the finals is where you can actually um, set records and stuff like state records or even world records. So that's where your times actually count. Okay, so um, there's a couple competitions coming up. They're both in Maryland. One of them is in, I think, a week or so. And then one of them's in about a month. And I'll be going to both of them, so. Yeah. Where are you going to be going to? Yes. And um, if you ever want to find out about any competitions, you can just go on to, um, you just um, search up WSSA Sports Stacking and you can go onto their website.